Now we'll see how to select records from a database. In PHP My Admin, click on the Movies Database and then the Movies Table Name. The data, 15 movie titles, descriptions and IDs, is displayed on the screen, along with the SQL query used to display it. Select asterisk from Movies, limit 0, 30. The asterisk has a special meaning in SQL. It means all fields. So this query means select all fields from the table called Movies, we haven't specified the database because we're already in it, with a limit on how many records are going to be returned from the first record, numbered 0, to the record, numbered 30. And as there are less than 30 records in the table, the limit has no effect. That's nice, but the records are displayed in Movie ID order which is not of much relevance to us. It would be nicer if we could choose to sort them into alphabetical order by title. Copy the query, leaving off the limit clause. And add order by title to the end of the query. So it reads, select asterisk from movies, order by title. Remember the back ticks are optional. Press go. and the results will be ordered alphabetically by last name. Although we'd probably usually want results ordered from A to Z rather than Z to A, there are times when we want to sort in reverse order. For instance, if the data is numeric, we might want the largest number first in a list. It's easy to do this. Just add DESC for descending to the end of the order by clause. We may not always want to display all the fields in a table. For instance, the ID number is interesting to the database system, but it's not of much use to us as humans. Change the SQL query to select title from movies, and only the title field will be displayed. We can also include more than one field in our select query by separating them with commas. For instance, select first name, comma, last name from moviegoers. And remember, again, that there's no comma after the last field name in the list. So far, we've displayed all the records in a table, which isn't normally what we want to do. So now we'll modify the select query to search for given patterns. Do this by entering select title from movies, where title equals life of pipe and you will see that only that one record is returned. That's matching the whole of the title field with equals. For our project we won't need to do this, but if we wanted to search for a partial match, we do this using like instead of equals, and using percent marks as a wild card to match any number of any character. For instance, select asterisk from movies, where title like Life, and then the percent mark, with the wildcard at the end of the search string, will match any title beginning with life. Select asterisk from movies, where title like cheese with wildcards at the beginning and end of the search string will return any records containing the patent cheese anywhere in the title. You can see straight away that MySQL is rather user-friendly in its terminology. It's not a cryptic computing language at all. It's rather like ordinary English, with these keywords that we've been learning, create, insert into, select from, where and like, so it's really quite an easy language to learn. It is important, though, to enter the various clauses in the right order. They must go in the order shown in the examples. That's the basis of the select query. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to update an already existing record in the database.